Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hoy estaré de oyente. ¿Quién es el que está hablando? Ah, Edwin. Sí, tengo un poquito de tarea. Uh, va, ok, Edwin. Vamos Gracias. a estar pendiente entonces de mandarlo en grupos de tres. Ok, gracias. Okay. Well, vamos a ver, ten. It's exactly starting to rain here right now. What about in your house? Is it raining? Is it raining in your house? Yes. Yes, teacher. In my house, it rains yes, very much. Yeah. It was like very quiet, it was nice, but when it was about five to eight, it came like very, very strong rain. So let's hope that we don't have problems with the internet, right? Well, I'm going to start by pulling the attendance and checking who are the ones that are already here. Okay, there we go. Fourteenth. Tuesday 14th, Adriana Jimenez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Valle Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. No here. Ahí está, teacher. Ahí está. Vamos a ver. Good night, teacher. Perdón, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. With raining, with rain. It's raining, delicious, right? Okay, Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Nine. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Elda Cristina. No here. Elmer Fabricio. Gemma Carolina. Present teacher. Jessica Lisette. Jessica. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie, Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Teacher, ¿Cami? toda la semana voy a estar de oyente porque estoy bien mal de la garganta. Ándale, vaya Carla. <coughs> Esperemos que siga mejorcita. Ay, con esta lluvia que no colabora. Sí. sí. Vaya Carla, ya la apunté allí para mandarla en grupitos más grandes. Lice Dayanara. Gracias. Bueno. Present teacher. Ok. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. No. Rodrigo Marcelo. Ana Grisel. 
Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Grace Michelle. Ultimate Present Ray. teacher. Rosa Hilda. Rosa. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. No here yet. Ok. Bueno. Ya somos 16. Nice, nice. Sí, no está, ¿verdad? José Mauricio. Ok. Well, nice to see you. Ready, ready. Today we have a, a topic that is not easy. It's not difficult, but probably you will feel it a little new, right? A little new. No, because we don't we don't use those words. That because we don't we haven't paid attention to them probably, right? To the use of them. And today you're going to be using them in a very active way. I'm going to share, ah, and before I forget, sharing for everybody, right? Okay. Okay, there we go. Check. First green, uh, I want you to remember how we form the comparative adjectives that we were talking about yesterday. Do you remember? Hmm? Yes, teacher, I remember. Okay, who can tell me? Anna? Uh -huh. And how do you form the comparative of short adjectives, adjectives that have only one syllable? Well, we have to use a, two uh, phrases before the adjective for first to compare. And as the, as the I, pantalla, as the screen said, when the adjective has one or two syllables, syllables uh, make the comparative by adding er at the end of the adjective. For example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we have more and done or less than. Uh -huh. We have to add done, right? Mm -hmm. What happens? That is for who, who wants to answer it, right? What happens with the adjective handsome? What would be the comparative of handsome? Mm -hmm. Is they is they in the same way? Is the comparative of handsome? No, pretty or irregular no uh -huh. but pretty is one adjective right and handsome is another adjective they will be like we can say synonyms but pretty is for girls or a little animals oh, okay. and girls, boys but what is the comparative of of handsome ugly no the comparative not the opposite ah comparative we're talking about comparatives more handsome uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, why? Why more handsome? How many syllables? How many syllables do we have in the word handsome? Two. Mm -hmm. So we had hand. Some. Some. The E doesn't sound, right? But we have handsome. 
So according to the manual, it says one or two syllables, but according to all the rest of the grammar books, we'll say one syllable. And here we will say two or more. Excuse me, teacher, I don't understand. What don't you understand? You are asking about when the additive has two syllables. Mm -hmm. Handsome. Mm -hmm. By checking. That's why I'm making a correction here because the manual says that if you have one or two syllables, you are ER, right? Mm -hmm. But we say handsomer, we say more handsome, correct? Mm -hmm. So some grammar books, but que, de todos los grammar books que yo he, bus que, que he buscado y porque me dio curiosidad y cuando algo me da curiosidad lo busco y busco, encontré un libro, nada más, uno, que me dice one or two syllables, you add ER. Y de ahí todos los demás dicen two or more, you add more. ¿Ok? Entonces nos vamos a pegar a la regla de si el adjetivo tiene dos sílabas o más de dos, le vamos a agregar more y no ER. Porque manda más la mayoría en este caso, ¿verdad? La mayoría de libros que me manda a decir que si mi adjetivo tiene dos sílabas, yo le agrego more. Teacher, I have a question. No. Eh, sí, o sea, está correcto poner more, pero la pregunta también, también es correcto gramatical, por, gramaticalmente poner el ear. Solamente en el caso de los que tienen dos sílabas, algunos se los acepta, pero como usted está aprendiendo inglés formal, no sabe si en un futuro se va a enfrentar a un examen, podría suceder que si usted le agrega R acá, se lo tome mal. ¿Ok? Entonces, por eso es que yo les explico que en la mayoría de los libros, en la mayoría, si se acuerdan la información que les compartí ayer, decía two or more. ¿Sí? Y los que tienen una sílaba se van con ER, pero los que tienen dos sílabas se les agrega more. Entonces, esa es como la regla más general y la regla más común en este caso de, de, de los adjetivos que tienen solamente, o que tienen dos sílabas. ¿Verdad? Entonces, para evitar eh, situaciones, nos regimos por una sílaba y ER, dos sílabas por more, le agregamos more. ¿Ok? Like that you play safe. Porque en cualquier eh, documento que usted encuentre, va a encontrar que dos, para adjetivos de dos sílabas, el comparativo es con more. Ok, vaya, what happens with this one? Pretty has two syllables, right? What happens to pretty? We it's must be more pretty, but prettier. Exactly. All the adjectives that finish in Y, independently of the number of syllables that they have, we drop out the Y and then we add ER. See, it doesn't matter. For example, friendly, you have friendly, Friendly, you have friend, one syllable, Lee, the other syllable. It has two yeah. syllables. You can very long, right? But it has only two syllables. So the same, we drop out the Y and then we add ER. See? So 
when an adjective finishing in Y has two syllables, we drop the Y and then we add the R. Yeah? What happens with this adjective? What is the comparative of big? According to the rules we were talking about yesterday. Bigger. Bigger. Uh -huh. I only add ER or do I have to make another change? E and ER. But add the, add the, the consonant. Ah, okay. So remember, if my adjective has only one syllable, but it was like consonant, vowel, consonant, I double the second consonant and then I add ER, right? Any other question over there? What happened, teacher, when you use the good? Oh, good question. Good. We have three adjectives that are irregular, right? That is good, bad, and far. What is the comparative of good? Because good doesn't follow these rules. So bad is worse. Bad is worse, very good. Uh, to good is better. Better. Mm -hmm. Better. Mm -hmm. Worse. So you I say, see. I feel better or I feel better. Good, right? Better. What about far? What is the comparative of far? Do you remember? Farther. farther, perfect. So we can say farther or further, right? It has to, farther. Yeah, farther or further. And remember, with the adjectives that are long, like mm, difficult, you will say more difficult, right? More difficult. But these three are irregular. They do not follow any rule. They are irregular. Any question here so far? Questions? No question. No, no teacher, thank you. Okay, perfect. Basha, let's go to the topic we have for today. Check. When uh, we well, we are going to be using this uh, this structure. They are these are called coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating because they coordinate, right? They are coordinating conjunction. What is, a, what is a conjunction? A conjunction is something that joins, right? That puts two things together. That's a conjunction. And here we are going to be putting uh, two sentences together through a conjunction. Now, these conjunctions are also called fanboys. Fanboys. Why fanboys? Because one of the conjunctions, there are many, right? But one of the conjunctions that we're going to be using is for. For begins with F, then an, nor with N, that, or, yet, and so. So we're going to be talking a little bit about each of them before we go to use them, right? Uh, we have for is used to explain a reason or to explain a purpose. For example, when you say, or, or you use it like the meaning of because. You say, teacher, I wasn't in class yesterday for, being sick, right? 
I wasn't in class for being sick. So you're using for to give me a reason. Yes. I will buy an umbrella for protecting from the sun, for protecting purpose. What for? What do you need an umbrella for? Oh, for protecting from the rain, right? Oh, it's like saying I'm going to buy an umbrella because it is raining right now. We are in winter. So you use it to give a reason. See, here, you know, when we use the word for, we can give it a different meanings. And one of them is like, um, for this is for you, like para, right? But that's not the case right now in this, in this structure. We are using for to give a reason or to give a purpose. Later on, we will see it more in details, right, in the exercises. And then we have N. And I use N when I want to add. So this is for addition. Mm -hmm. Addition. I want to add something else. Then I'm going to use N. See? So you have, you say, well, I have, um, I have a new mouse, right? I have a new mouse and an old phone, <laughs> right? I have, and I have one thing and another. So I'm giving addition. So in this case, I can be adding like this, using the things in one same sentence, just by adding one and another, right? You can also join sentences by using N when you say, Maria is a very smart girl and she's very beautiful, right? So I'm adding, well, I'm going to add a page here so we can go uh, writing, writing the sentences. Okay. I'm using only one hand, so I'm going to be writing with the pencil, okay? By, can you use reason, uh, for as reason? Can you give me an example? Using for as a reason? Mm -hmm. Imagine if you tell me, I, well, uh -huh. I bought a medicine for my flu. Ah, but in that case, it's no reason. If you tell me, I bought some medicine. Or I, for example, I wake up early or tomorrow's excursion, eh, play. Medicine. Tomorrow's trip? Sí. Okay. So let's go to the first one you got, you told me. I bought some medicine. For my flu. I I got I bought some medicine for so my flu. For I have someone remember reason. No para qué, por qué. So that's the difference. The, the normal use that we have or that we know for the word for is como para qué. But right now you're telling me por qué. See? ¿Sí? Por qué? 
o cuando me dice para qué, es como para qué, pues para qué la va a ocupar. ¿Sí? Entonces, you say, I bought some medicine for, I have a sick person at home. ¿Por qué? Porque tengo una persona enferma en casa. Piense como en because, right? Because that's the meaning in this case. So you can say, I bought some medicine because I have a sick person at home, at home, right? For example, I bought some uh, crisp, crispy uh, for the for tomorrow's tomorrow's do, my daughter's party. For my do, uh, for I have my daughter's party tomorrow. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. off, right? Uh -huh. And here we are going to put a coma. Chequen la diferencia entre usar for y usar because. Antes de for, ocupo coma. Pero antes de because, no ocupo coma. Okay? So this will be like using because. So that's the same meaning. Because we're talking about purpose. Or we're talking about reason. Now. Talking about an, we use an, for example, if we want to uh, add something, right? Remember, we are using this to make simple sentences. So it's a simple sentence, right? But we're joining a couple of things for making my sentence, joining a couple of more things. And I say, I, bueno, let's say he better. He is. A hard working person. And we are going to use and, right? He's a handworking person and a good father. En este caso, yo estoy usando and solamente para unir dos buenas características. Ahora, si yo lo quiero ocupar como un coordinating conjunction, what I have to do is to write two sentences and join the two sentences using and. Porque en este caso solamente es un conjunction, pero no es un coordinating conjunction, no me está coordinando nada, right? Then you say, Ana Sorry, Anna, I always use this name. <laughs> okay, okay. Anna is traveling. And his brother is taking care of the house. Yeah. Anna is traveling and her brother is taking care of the house. Now, what about the other one? Nor. No problem with the end, right? No? It's like one of the easiest, easiest one. Nor. Nor presents an alternative, but an alternative that is negative. O sea, ni este ni el otro. Yeah? 
So you already have a negative alternative. And then you say, well, vamos a agregar una nueva paginita aquí. But check. I don't have a dough. Oh no, let's say I don't travel. Along at night. nor my sister travels alone. O sea, ni yo ni ella, ninguno, ¿verdad? Just to give an example. And then I can say, nor Maria, nor Pedro speak French, right? So I'm using the conjunction to join two things. Mm -hmm. So I can join two things, but two things that are negative. So ni esto ni lo otro. So you say, I don't speak I don't speak French nor Italian. Right? For example, I don't want tea nor nor coffee. Exactly. Exactly. Ni este ni el otro. Right? Now, that is used to show contrasts. When I use that, I say Maria doesn't like doesn't like coffee. She doesn't like coffee, comma, and then I put my coordinating conjunction that she loves tea. Yeah, she doesn't like coffee that she loves tea. The order can vary. So you can say Maria loves coffee, but she doesn't like tea. So you can switch, no problem. But in this case, when you're using that, as we're talking about a contrast, we can use negative, affirmative or affirmative negative. Yes, that is uh, the case when you're using that. When you're using N, you should have affirmative, affirmative or negative, negative. For example, if you say, I don't have a doll and I don't have a, a total. See, negative, negative. Or oh, I have a dough and I have a total, positive, positive. But when we are using that, we have negative, positive, or positive, negative. Yes? Maria loves tea, but she doesn't like coffee. Now let's go to the next one. Uh, or, when we use or, we are presenting an alternative. So you say, um, do you prefer coffee? 
do you prefer? So we can use it in a question, right? Because we're talking about choices. Do you prefer black coffee? Or tea. So I don't have milk to give you, right? So you have only two options. Do you prefer black coffee or tea? Do you prefer going to the movies or staying at home? Do you prefer going to the movies or watching a movie at home? So I have choice. So you have to make a decision here, yeah? So you have a choice or you have an alternative. Now, when I use jet check, it introducing a contrasting idea that follows the preceding idea logically. For example, if you say, I have an exam, yet I haven't studied at all. Right? I have an exam tomorrow, yet I haven't studied at all. So that is a contrasting idea. A pesar de que tengo un examen, aún no he estudiado nada. Right? Or you can tell me, I have... Um, I have a party, yet I haven't sent the invitations, yeah? And the last one that we have, so indicates effect, result or consequence. I feel very tired, so I will sleep early today. I was very hungry, so I ate something before class. Mm -hmm. So it is result, it is a showing a result or a consequence. Any questions so far? No questions? Eh, una pregunta. Para Jet, va a aplicar lo de positivo y negativo que decía también. Eh, no necessarily. But you. Okay. About you have to do something, pero no lo hace todavía. Okay. Imagine that you tell me, you know what? I I'm I'm moving to another house tomorrow. Yet I haven't packed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Como, pero aún, verdad? O aún o todavía en este caso el significado de yet. In not yet, it means what? For example, sometimes we use not yet. Aún no. Aún no. Pero en este caso no es un coordinating conjunction. Ahí no, ahí no está actuando como coordinating conjunction. Ahí está actuando como una expresión para el present perfect. Mm -hmm. A ver. ¿Podemos empezar una oración con estas palabras, sí o no? ¿Qué opinan? For example, for, yes. Are you sure? No sé. Mm -hmm. Fíjense que una característica de estas palabras es que ellas van a ir siempre en medio. O sea, van a ir eh, completando o giving a purpose o giving a reason o adding o giving the alternative o showing contrast. Entonces, van en medio porque son co conjunction. Por eso es la palabra conjunction. ¿Por qué me sirve a mí para unir 
una y otra oración o una y otra palabra. Right? That's the, that's the purpose of the coordinating conjunction. And again, right, we say they are fan boys. So for, and, nor, that, or, yet, or, so. That's the, the, the structure, how we are, or, or that's the way how we can identify them, right? Because they are used to join. That's why we will always find them in the middle, in the middle of the sentence, because the purpose is that they join two sentences. A ver, I'm going to, sh to share with you a couple of examples for you to, to see the use of them. And then you will see a couple of sentences to choose the correct uh, option, we can say. Right? Check. You can eat your cake with a spoon or fork. When you go to a, to a party, they give you a spoon or a fork, right? To eat the cake. My dog enjoys being that. That hates his nails timed. That. In this case, you can say teacher, pero las dos están afirmativas. Mm, depende. Hate is negative. Right? Mm -hmm. So what you have to see is, even if you see that the sentence is, is affirmative, if the connotation of that sentence is negative, you're making a contrast. Bill refuses to eat peas, nor will he touch carrots. Yeah. So, in, odia las, las peas y las carrots también. I hate, to draw, I hate to waste a drop of gas. ¿Por qué? For it's very expensive these days. And I want you to see something. As coordinating conjunctions, sometimes you are going to join, like in this case, a spoon or fork, only two words. Aquí no cupo coma. Being that, my dog enjoys being that. That hates getting a team. En este caso, ¿por qué no cupo coma? Porque no he puesto otra vez he. I can say my dog enjoys being bad, that he hates, and then I can use that. I can use a comma before that. Bill refuses to eat peas, nor will he touch carrots. Este, este eh, nor es una de las estructuras, podríamos decir, que a veces se ocupa como inverted. En vez de decir Bill refuses to eat pea, peas, nor he will touch carrots, se ocupa como inverted para darle más énfasis a, lo, a la negación que está mutando acá. Ok. I hate to wait, I hate to waste a drop gas, coma. Y lo que les decía, si yo para that reason ocupo because en vez de for, no necesito coma. Pero si yo ocupo for para dar reason, en ese caso sí necesito una coma. Ok. Any questions here? Yes, uh, Entonces, uh -huh. ¿cuál sería la diferencia en because and for? Solamente eh, la estructura, que because ocupa coma y for no. Y que for puede ser utilizado también en otros casos, no solamente para, para este, ¿verdad? No solamente para, para reason, sino que se puede ocupar para otras cosas, como en el caso de, de usarlo como para, ¿verdad? Tiene otros usos, mientras que because siempre va a ser reason. Ok. 
Eh, pues más que todo cuando se hace la pregunta why. Exactly. Why? Because. Ok, thank you. También otra palabra que podemos utilizar así para dar reason es eh, since, que también el since se puede utilizar en vez de because. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, I'm late since there was a lot of traffic. ¿Ya? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué vengo tarde? Porque había mucho tráfico. Entonces, eh, ocupo el since en vez de, de because. Since, y el since sí lo puedo ocupar al principio, mientras que because no. Yo no puedo decir because there was a lot of traffic, I'm late. Suena un poquito raro. Pero perfectamente puedo decir eh, since there was a lot of traffic, I'm late. ¿Verdad? Entonces, en ese caso... El since nos puede servir para dar reason, pero el since no es un coordinating conjunction. Ese lo vamos a ver más adelante en, en, entre otros conjunctions, pero no es un coordinating conjunction. Si no me equivoco, es un subordinating conjunction. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelantito. Any questions? Questions. No questions. No. Cuando estemos haciendo los ejercicios. Hmm. Ok. Analicen los ejercicios, pues, y después vamos a hacer un par de ejercicios juntos para que ustedes escojan cuál es la mejor opción. Lo va a poner en el grupo, teacher. Sí, lo voy a mandar al grupo. Ok. Once you're ready, we go. Le voy a mandar las oraciones al grupo hoy. Al grupo de, de WhatsApp. Todos están agregados al grupo de WhatsApp. ¿O todavía tengo gente que no se ha agregado? ¿Mm? ¿Todo está en el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí. Sí, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfecto, perfecto. Yeah. Vámonos, pues. Ahí se lo voy a poner. Ahí. La compu dice que tiene vida propia ella. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Quién no podía entrar? Me vi que habían puesto el link ahí otra vez. Va, aquí están ya pegados los está muy bien. Eh, remember what you have to do is to eh, choose right choose the correct coordinating conjunction in each of the sentences yeah. mm -hmm. Vamos a dejar de compartir. Ya está compartido en el, en el chat de WhatsApp. 
para mandarlos a los grupos. 3 por 7, 21. En tu grupo de 3 lo voy a mandar. Vamos a ver, Edwin. Ok. Y Carla. Ahí está, perfecto. Ok, there we go. Let's join and complete the sentences using the correct fanboy or coordinating conjunction. Rodrigo. Rodrigo Marcelo. Ya lo uno, Rodrigo, a un grupo. Trate de unirse ahí. Carlos, lo veo por aquí todavía. No le aparece la invitación, Carlos. Ahí está. Karen. Karen y Stephanie. Present teacher. Eh, me falló el internet y por un momento me sacó Zoom. ¿Te aparece la invitación, Carlos? No, no me aparece. Ok, ahora sí. Rodrigo, ya que si le aparece la invitación, ahí se la acabo de mandar de nuevo. Hoy sí, Karen. Check, check. ¿La proyectamos o las contestamos así? Pueden proyectarlas mejor. Okay. Así las descargó a proyecte. Ok, ahorita un segundo. Lo que no se va a poder editar, quizás. No sé. Ah, porque son fotos. Un lápiz. Con un lápiz puede encerrar. Ah. Lo, lo inventamos al truco. <risa> bueno, al final que solo es sombreado. Sí, es ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok, entonces, ¿cuál sería la primera? La primera para mí creo que es Bat. Espérame, espérame, vámonos para la primera. Aquí está la primera. Ah, ay, que estaba leyendo la que estaba ahí al frente. Bueno, la primera es esta. Podría ser una cosa. Sí, Hello, sí. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Tell me, do you have a question? Uh, yeah, uh, in the number three, uh, I am a vegetarian. Uh, we don't know is um, like a consequence. So, yeah, so, I don't eat any meat. I'm a vegetarian. 
Sí, that would be a result. Bien. Ok. Entonces sería so. So. Uh -huh. Ok. Serían todas las preguntas, Icha. Yeah, the eight. They are only okay. eight. Ok. 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 Uh, number four. I wanted to go to the beach. Uh, Mary but, is bad, sería, ¿verdad? I think. Uh -huh. I think. Number four, but. Number five, I am allergic to cats. The cats. Um, I have three of them. No sé si sería aquí yet. Yet. I am allergic to cats. Yet I have three mm -hmm. them. Yet sería. Sí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Es un contraste de la idea. Ajá, ajá. Um, six. Thomas will be late to work. work. Um, four. Creo que sería four. He has four. dental appointment. Four. Uh -huh. eh, Because. Eh, reason. Uh -huh, una reason. Uh -huh. Four. Okay. Eh, number seven. Jennifer does not like to swim. Does he enjoy swimming? Cycling. Uh, does not like. But. Perdón. Sería but. Jennifer. Ah, uh, sí. But nadar, sería. Pero, pero le gusta. Eh, disfruta. Disfruta. De ciclar. Uh -huh. Sí, sería, sería bad. Bad. Sí. Ok. Y la número nueve. Número nueve. Jackson Wanted. Ocho, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. Ah, sí, ocho. Pero es, es que dice nueve, pero sería la ocho. Oh, so sorry. Ah, okay. <risa> Jackson want, wanted to eat another piece of cake. He was on a diet. Um, este también parece un contraste creo que sería yet no es una no es una razón dice Jackson no quiere comer otro pedazo de, de pastel mm. porque él estaba a dieta y was on a diet no está, está negativo. Was no. No, verdad. No. Wanted. No. Jackson wanted. Jackson no quería. No. Jackson quería comer. Quería. Ajá. Quería comer, eh, verdad. Jackson quería ajá. comer. Entonces es una. una ajá, ¿no? tiene razón. Es reason. Number five, I am allergic to cats. I have three of them. Que, pero me quiere, no. Ahí sería bad, creo. I am allergic to cats. No, porque pero no, no está bad. No da, ajá, no está bad. Porque dice, soy alérgica a los gatos. Y for es por o para. Y Jet sería también. Pero Bat, Bat, pero tengo tres gatos. No, no lo que pasa es, es que Bat no. no está en las opciones. Eso Ajá, es lo que en las decir. opciones. Solo está no. or, por, y eso. Sí está. Abajo del north, Bat. No, a por. Bat. En el cinco, en el cinco. Ah. Está viendo el 5. No, es que ya está viendo todas. <risa> ya la estaba viendo todas. No sé qué poner ahí, fíjense. ¿Qué dijo que significaba Jet? 
eh, significaba todavía. Ajá, todavía o aún. O aún, no. Ajá, o aún. No, pues es descartado. Vaya, y por... La razón de la porta. No. Uh -uh, no que tengo tal vez. Sí, la primera, la primera vez. Ah, pues no, todo es perfecto, está bien. No se canse. Antes de tiempo. Teacher, ya lo hicimos. Yo finished. Ay, yes, Okay. Yes. And we, but we hope that we are right in the answers. The answers. <laughs> I hope so too. Because, because a little uh, confused. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Well, let's go. One minute to go. Okay, we're back. A ver, a ver. Oh, we're still missing some people. Mm -hmm. Before we check the exercises, I'm going to call attendance because it's nine. Vamos a ver, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Eh, Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Ok. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Ena, Eda, Elda. Ya, ya empecé a cambiar los nombres, ya ven. <laughs> Elda Cristina, no here? Presente, sí, sí. Ok, ok, ok. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Nice. Gemma Carolina. Present teacher. Jessica. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Ay, sí, mire, ya le arreglaron el nombre. Yeah. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. La Lorena. Present teacher. Lizeth Dayanara. Present teacher. Lidia. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Oscar. No está Oscar. Ok. No, ¿verdad? Eh, Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Nice. Rodrigo. Eh, present teacher. Right. Ana Grisel. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Grace Michelle. 
Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. No. Okay, we're missing three people then. You cannot hear, Rodrigo. Uh, uh, I, I couldn't hear the, the, the cell phone. I was uh, uh, with uh, some problem with, the, with, with this thing. But right now, yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, uh, yes. uh, whenever you are entering, it always asks, uh, and you have to check in, entrar audio por computadora para que le permita eh, el audio, si no, no puede ni hablar ni, ni, ni oír, si no le da clic allí en esa parte. Oye, okay. de, de, siempre de entrada es de tenerle cuidado allí, porque si no, no lo deja. La mía incluso hasta me pide que si quiero probar los altavoces para para ver si funciona, porque conecto el micrófono, pero me gusta escucharlo directo en la compu, no en audífono. Entonces siempre me pide checar las dos cosas. Entonces ahí pueden leer eso. Ok, bueno, let's check your answers, right? Vamos a ver. Would you rather have cheese? Or? Or, ok. Or. Mm -hmm. Would you rather have cheese or bologna on your sandwich? His two favorite sports are football and and tennis. Tennis. And tennis. Mm -hmm. I'm a vegetarian. So I don't eat. Mm -hmm. Result. Right, so I don't eat meat. I wanted to go to the beach. But. But. That Mary refused, that's what I was telling you, right? It sounds like positive, but the connotation it has is negative. Okay. I'm allergic to cats. Yet. 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 Mm -hmm. I have three of them. Exactly. Yes, I have three of them. Thomas will be late to work. For? For? For. That's a dental appointment. Uh -huh. Reason. Very good. Jennifer does not like to swim. But? But? Mm -hmm. Remember when I told you you use a reverted, like como que estuviera hablando al revés? No. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Jennifer doesn't like to swim, nor does she enjoy it. Tampoco. Tampoco. Mm -hmm. Ni, no. <laughs> Ni uno ni el otro, right? Mm -hmm. Jennifer doesn't like to swim, nor does she enjoy cycling. Este es, 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 es una de las estructuras así como un poco raras y se ocupa como inverted, ¿verdad? Al revés. Entonces, por eso ponemos primero el auxiliar y después el subject. That is that, ni picha ni cacha. Ajá, exacto. No le, ni, ni nadar, ni, ni andar en la bici. Ah, okay. Jackson wanted to eat another piece of cake. But. 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 But he was on a diet. Pobrecito, ¿verdad? No, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Questions? No questions? 
No. Maybe we have to 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 use set to be sure that we got it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Vaya, hoy es el momento. What you're going to do is uh, check how you can use the fan voice, right? That you're going to write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant. O sea, no vamos a ir a escribir oraciones así a lo suelto, sino que la vamos a poner dentro de un contexto. Write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant. What services do they offer? What characteristics make this restaurant good? But for writing that, you have to use comparative adjectives and coordinating conjunctions. I don't know if that is clear for you. Yes, teacher. Okay. That's what, about your favorite restaurant, right? What services do they offer? What characteristics make this restaurant good? That as you write, you have to use comparatives and coordinating conjunctions. I'm going to send you in groups of three. I'm going to make the groups again so you work with a different group as you write your review. And I'm going to give you, I guess about 10. Well, no, I, I'm going to be checking you, right? If 10 minutes are enough for you or if you need more time. I'm going to be checking. And as you finish, you are going to share it with the rest of the class. There we go. Twenty. Well, there will be one group of four. Rebeca, póngase el nombre completo, por favor. Me le falta un nombre y un apellido. Ok, teacher. Vaya, ahí nos vamos, ¿verdad? Let's go to the room. Remember to share the screen so everybody can see what you're writing. And it, that, that way it's easier to edit too. Try to join. Por ahí les aparece una, un llamadito para unirse a un grupo. No le aparece, Rodrigo, por ahí que le están llamando hacia un grupo. Este, no, no me parece que lo que pasa es que estoy conectado de tercera. Ah, ahorita sí. Ok. Grace, are you in class? Grace Michel. Las características y las características que hacen a ese restaurante. Bueno, vea, va. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Do you have sí. any restaurant that you prefer, Nubia? Um, oh, um, what kind of food do you like? 
Podría ser uh, Puerto Marisco. Puerto Marisco. O quisieran algo así como más popular. Algo de comida rápida como Pizza Hut, McDonald's. Oh. Carla Lorena, disculpe. What kind of food do you like to eat? Carla cannot speak and I she's sick. So sorry. Okay. Uh, would you like to to okay Puerto Marisco? I have a long time ago to not being there, but you can tell me the about the food and, and everything. I am going to write it. Okay. Uh, in my fa our favorite our favorite restaurant is eh, ay como me dijo Puerto Marisco, Puerto Marisco. Yo, yo creo que yo de verdad tengo algo usted se me olvida la Puerto tiene hambre ah Cuando uno tiene hambre, se le olvidan las cosas. How do you say mariscos in English? Or they have... How about write the name of the restaurant like that, Puerto Mariscos. Ah, Mariscos. Sí. No Puerto Mariscos. Sí, Puerto Mariscos. Uh -huh. No, I mean, they have the, the... They have better... Screen... Better, Scream. Um, teacher, how do you say um, empanizados? Breaded. 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 Yeah. Mira, aquí tengo mi, un, mi, un, mi. Es, eh, delete R E and put I. Breaded shrimp. Mm -hmm. The better breaded, breaded shrimp. M P one than, I. Than another restaurant. Than la curva de Don Jere. Sí. <laughs> We lie, we verdad? We lie. Como estamos hablando de nosotros tres. Ah, sí, sí. Uh -huh. oh, for the installation. ¿Cómo? Uh, for the installation is uh, is big. O sea, las instalaciones son grandes. ¿no? ¿Las qué? Perdón, no lo escucho bien. Instalaciones. Ah. The building. You can say the building. Building here or installations? The building. Ok. Uh, good decoration. Ah, correcto. Espérame que me quede en for. <laughs> okay. for the building. For, for will. The building. Will. Building. 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 Uh -huh. And good decoration. Decoration. Este, podríamos decir we think uh, y el pollo campero es ver 
Pinsaha or Pollo Campestre. Casi no les gusto, cara. Oh, que podríamos decir que no es que, que... oye un partido por ahí. Sí. Lo siento, pero no me puedo alejar más. Este, podríamos decir de que nosotros pensamos que es mejor que la pizza hub o el pollo campestre. And she enjoy the extensive or the, or the menu, maybe. Meaning. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lisette's favorite restaurant is Pizza Hut because considers that she receives good attention for her family and enjoy. The menu. There are many restaurants. Okay, there are many restaurants. Uh, uh, of pizza, a restaurant of pizza. There are many restaurants. Mm. Uh, there are uh, many restaurants that offer pizza, but uh, she prefer she prefer a uh, pizza has pizza hat. Uh, because uh, she she loved the pepperoni pizza, maybe. Maybe. Yo ya tengo cinco, pero creo que no estoy muy seguro de la última. Uno puede compartir pantalla para que vean qué es lo que van escribiendo todos. Ah, okay. Teacher. Porque serían las diez, las diez líneas tendrían que ser entre los dos. Entre los dos. Ah, sí, Edwin está trabajando, ¿verdad? Sí, entre los dos. Entre los dos. Sí. Okay. Lo que pueden hacer es escoger un restaurante cada uno y, com y compararlo. Mm. ¿Verdad? Para que ocupen los comparative adjectives y, y también los coordinating conjunction. Ahí aprovechan de comparar los dos restaurantes. Ok. okay. No sé si usted puede compartir pantalla. Bueno. 
no tengo mucha experiencia. ¿Pero está del teléfono o de la computadora? No, del teléfono. Ah, ah pues si gusta, mejor lo comparto yo porque es más fácil okay. de la Sí, es más fácil de la com. Sí, sí. Vaya. Eh, ¿Qué restaurante elegiría? Bueno, ¿cuál puso usted? Yo escogí la calaca. Ah, ok, ok. Vaya. Yo escogí, bueno, es que yo soy de San Miguel, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno. <risa> campestre. No. no pollo campestre. Pollo campestre from San Miguel, right? Sí, es de San Miguel. Pero no, no escogí ese. Escogí Don Beto. Don Beto. Sí. Vaya. Pongamos entonces la K. La K. Sí se escribe, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya. Eh, ¿Qué puso usted en la calaca? Bueno, lo voy a leer y quizás después vamos a sacar ahí un par de ideas. Okay. Now, my favorite restaurant is La Calaca. They have the more beautiful decoration than other Mexican restaurants. Okay. They have the better suaderos tacos of the city. I want to go there tomorrow, but I work all, to, all day. So um, I love the Mexican food and the hot sauce. Okay. Entonces, right. no sé ahí lo que usted había puesto para que empecemos a contrarrestar a... a, a ¿Cómo se llama? Ah. Va, ah, yo puse. Se ve. No. No, ah, okay. no lo voy a leer entonces. Uh -huh. Bueno, en mi caso, no tengo un favorito restaurante, pero me gusta el food mexicano. En mi ciudad. Es mexicano, food Sí. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Bueno, elegimos casi lo mismo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh, in my city, there are one restaurant that I like his food. Uh, they offer delivery service and dining in the restaurant. Uh, I like this restaurant for... You can choose this place for your special. Uh, you special. You can choose the place for a special celebration. Uh, option for for the Father's Day. Uh -huh. For the Father's Day. Uh -huh. You can. Uh, ¿Cuáles eran las opciones? You can. Uh, you can. Uh, you can. Order. Go to the restaurant. No. Go to the restaurant. Uh -huh. Or you can. No, podríamos ocupar. Ah, no, sí, sí, sí. Or. You can uh, deliver. Delivery. Deliver. You can use the delivery. Ajá, you can use the delivery. Because, ajá, uh -huh, it depends on the client. For, the for your convenience, podría ser. Ajá, uh -huh, for your convenience. Depend, it depends on the client, the customer. Mm -hmm. The customer. That depends on the customer. No. 
podcast tomar. Así. Es con U, creo yo. Con U, ¿verdad? Costumer. Ajá. Así, ¿verdad? No. Ah, sí. Costumer. Ok. Hi, teacher. Hi. Eh, hi. Oso. Le puedes poner oso. In the mm -hmm. restaurant. Yes, eh, they, had, they had a different service. Like a catering. Catering service. To wedding. Like catering service. Eh, eh, like wedding or meeting meeting a eh, service like catering service uh -huh. service de eventos or meeting service meeting eh, eh, service algo así o meetings uh -huh. ajá Pero or ya. meeting service Adri, Adri hágale un cambio ¿Cómo? A customer donde puso o es u y donde puso u es o. Aquí, teacher. Sí. Customer. Te escribe customer. Uy, al revés. Uh -huh. Customer, es cierto. Customer. Ok. Ok. Eh, eh. This is cheaper than both of them. But my mom doesn't like for she is allergic to seafood. My brother doesn't like la curva de mujer, nor la ola betos. For the distance to arrive there, my dad has me prefer Puerto Marisco for the quality of the products and the services. Teacher, hi. Hi. Could you read? Uh, re revisar, could you check our work if it's a, okay. okay? Quítemele una N a cleaner. Cleaner, okay. Mm, va, ok. Eh, necesitamos hacer un par de pausas porque nos hemos ido en la primera parte muy larga la oración hoy. Uh -huh. Our favorite restaurant is Puerto Marisco. Punto. Okay. They have better bread and shrimp than la curva de Don Jere. Period. Period. Uh -huh. The location is cleaner. The location. The local, entonces. The location, I... Uh, Porque location es la ubicación. No, we're talking about the place. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. The place is cleaner, entonces. Ay. The place, ajá. Uh -huh. The location, it means about it's far or near. Uh -huh. The place. Uh -huh. The place uh -huh. is cleaner than La Ola Betos and the price is cheaper than both of them. Than both of them. Excuse me? Coma. Coma. No, coma. Uh -huh. My mom doesn't like it. It. Ah, okay, okay, it's true. Doesn't like it. Or she's allergic to sifra. Uh -huh. My brother doesn't like la curva de Don Jere nor la ola betos for the distance to ride there. My dad has me prefer Puerto Marisco for the quality. Quality, quitele la, la primera ahí. Uh -huh. For the quality of the products and the service. Está bien, muy bien. Y excelente. Yay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you finish, right? Yes, teacher. Nice. Nice, nice.
Vamos a ver, yo creo que ya los demás poquito les faltaba. Me los llevo. Ok, thank you. So you have enough time to cheer. Thank you. Chicas, le toman foto. A ver, nos falta un par. Okay, vamos a ver. Now everybody here, right? I'm going to share. Okay, I would like to hear you who will be my first volunteer. Volunteer? We. We, we. We, we. Group number one. Okay, perfect, Anna, go ahead. Eh, Carlita o no o no novia. Want to read? Bueno, no sé si Carlita lo quiere leer. No, we said that o Ana o Grisel. <coughs> Dele usted, dele usted. Okay. Our favorite restaurant is Puerto Marisco. They have better brother cream than La Curva de Don Jere. The place is cleaner than La Ola Betos. And the price is cheaper than both of them. But my mom doesn't like it for she is allergic to seafood. My brother doesn't like La Curva de Don Jere, nor La, Ola, La Ola Betos for the distance to arrive there. My dad asked me prefer Puerto Marisco for the quality of the products and the service. Okay, perfect. Excellent, thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. It will be our, well, group number two. Teacher, I think number, group number two, right? Sí, group number two. Vamos a ver quién era. Sí. Oh. No voy a dejar de compartir para verlo. Eh, David, Karen, and Stephanie. Karen, Stephanie. Karen, Karen. Las dos Karen, dice. Hola. Y las dos Karen. Buenas. Vaya, Karen. Buenas. Tu pupila. Las dos Karen. Ya tenemos el título bien la cena. <risa> Vaya, go, eh. ¿Quién lo lee, Karen? <ríe> ¿Usted o yo?
Sí, gusta usted porque no lo anote todo. Bueno, ok, vamos a ver. <laughs> Our favorite restaurant is Pollo Campero for the building, for the decoration. The Pollo Campero is better than Pollo Campestre. For your attention, the client is faster than the other restaurant. restaurant. So they have too many branches. They don't have enough parking yet for too much client. We can eat at the restaurant or on the delivery. Hasta ahí llegamos. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Group number three, Diego, Grace, and Lisette. Okay. Okay, teacher, I'm reading. Okay. It's about the Lisette restaurant. Okay, uh, the uh, Lisette's favorite restaurant is Pizza Hut because uh, considers that she receives a good attention uh, for her family. I enjoy the menu. Uh, in El Salvador, there are many restaurants that offer pizza, but she prefers Pizza Hut uh, because she likes pepperoni pizza. However, uh, her family, they prefer Papa John's uh, because they like cheese pizza. Finally, Lisette's family select any restaurant that offer, uh, that offer delivery service and take out because they are pizza lover. Okay, very good. Do you like pizza? Yes, I like pizza. Are you a pizza lover too? Yes, I love it. Okay. My dinner was a piece of pizza. <laughs> okay. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Group number four, Edwin, Gemma, and Jose Alberto. Um, we both visit Laca Laca and Don Beto, but Laca Laca food is better than Don Beto food. Talking about the architecture of both places, we can say that Don Beto is more typical than Laca Laca. They offer delivery service, but Don Beto is faster than Laca Laca. Both prefer Don Beto food or is cheaper than Laca Laca. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Muy bien, muy buen uso de, de conjunctions and comparatives. Okay, vamos a ver, group number five. Eh, Adriana, Marcela, Carlos, Josué, and Rodrigo, Marcel. Teacher, I'm going to share and Rodrigo is going to and read. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, let me see. Just wait a minute. Okay, it says, Rodrigo favorite uh, restaurant at Pomodoro is the restaurant that is, is served Italian food and different, and different kind of wine demanding taste. All Pomodoro is expensive than Italian food restaurant, but the food is more delicious and expensive is better than is better than the competence. The restaurant, the rest, this restaurant only has a branch, only has a branch in the city. So is the is is one of the closest restaurant in town. If you're looking for breakfast, you can enjoy a delicious, delicious option or the buffet in the restaurant. You can choose, you can choose this place 
for a special celebration and could be an option for Father's Day. Uh, you can go to the restaurant or you can use the delivery for your convenience. That depends of the customer. Also in the restaurant, they have a different service. Uh, for example, a cartering service or meeting service. Uh, if, you, if you are looking for taking some drinks, they offer a happy hour 6 to 7 p.m. on Fridays. But if you're enjoying the, if he, but for enjoying this experience, you have to make a, to make pre previously reservation. Really has a Italian style in El Salvador. You won't regret it visit. visit. Okay, nice. Pomodoro, where is it, Rodrigo? Uh, Pomodoro is uh, near, here is in the Zona Rosa. It's down from uh, Sheraton Presidente. It's Italian food. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Uh, I've never been there, but I imagine it's Italian food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's better than, it's better uh, Los Choris. <laughs> yeah, Los Choris. Yeah. Well, if you compare Choris and Hot Dogs, I prefer hot dogs. I prefer choris. <laughs> really? Yeah. I I don't know why. I like I like hot dogs, but okay. with a lot of ketchup. Okay. Okay. Well, nice, 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 nice description. Let's listen to Elmer. Elmer, Fabricio, Rebecca, and Rosalinda. Who will cheer? Okay, Elmer, sharing, please. My favorite restaurant is Pizza Hut, for it's bigger than Little Caesar. And the specialty is pizza, but it has plates of pasta. The Pizza Hut you can eat in the restaurant or delivery service. The Pizza Hut have ingredients better than other pizza restaurants. So I prefer Pizza Hut. That's it, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Nice, nice. Uy, number seven, Elda Cristina. Elda Cristina, había alguien más, verdad? <laughs> Uh, sí. Okay, okay. Uh, the following offer more promotions every week than another restaurant. This place has a lot of things in the menu for different customers. They have better wings than Pampas restaurants. And they have refilled in some drinks. They have refilled in drinks, yet not in all ones. They have delivery and takeout service. They covered lunch and dinner for all age. The employees have, have a fast service and friendly. The ambience at the restaurant is better than fast food. Okay, they have a very good environment. Excellent, thank you. Environment. Thank you, thank you, Elda. That was the last one. Perfect, great, great. I like your descriptions. You made very, very good descriptions. And you made a perfect use of coordinating conjunctions and comparatives, that's what what we were looking for, right? Now, well, we go to the last exercise. You're going to put into practice what you learned, what you know, that you have demonstrated a, a lot that this is the last thing we will do. You're going to add the corresponding punctuation to the sentences, okay? 
I'm going to give you two minutes and then we check together. It's individual, teacher. Yeah, you do it individually here. Okay. Yo no le veo nada, teacher. Uh -huh. The punctuation, that's what you have to add. Teacher, yeah. for example, I don't understand what about the rules about punctuation. For example, in Spanish, you cannot use a comma if you use the word and. So in the first sentences I read, I go to expensive restaurants to their service and dishes are very good. So I don't think that they need some punctuation. Okay, I'm taking you back, check. Let's go for the first ones. You eat your cake with a spoon or a fork. You're putting just one word so you don't need comma, right? Remember here what I told you, my dog enjoys being bad, that hates getting his nail tin. If I add a he here to make it like sound like a different sentence, I need to put comma before bat. 
the same before wow. you have a coma, right? right? I need ways to drop a drop of gas for, so you use a coma before the coordinating conjunction. Let's see here. Yeah. Punctuation, you have a sentence plus a comma, a coordinating conjunction and the other sentence. If you are putting just one word, for example, if you say, well, I like dogs and cat. In that case, you don't need a comma. But if you, if you are using two sentences, you have one sentence, a comma, the coordinating conjunction and the other sentence, right? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So the same here, right? Would you rather have cheese or that's choice, no comma. His two favorite sports are football and tennis. Only joining two words, I need no, I, I don't need comma. But if I were using here, his favorite sports are football and he also likes tennis. In that case, before and, you will need a comma. But if you're using a sentence and a sentence, right? You need a comma before the coordinating conjunction. If you're using, like in this case, only two words, no. And yeah, you're right. In Spanish, um, we do not use comma before and. But in English, yes, if you're joining two sentences. I'm a vegetarian, comma, so I don't eat meat. I wanted to go to the beach, comma, that, before but, the same, I use a comma. I'm allergic to cat, comma, yet I have three. Thomas will be late to work. Four, comma, four, he has a dental appointment. Yeah, the same here. Jennifer does not like to swim, comma, nor does she enjoy hiking. Jackson wanted to eat another piece of cake, comma, that he was on a diet. Okay. Oh, this is the one. So, you had the, uh, before the coordinating conjunction, we're going to use comma. Uh -huh. Where will be the comma here? Before and. I go to expensive restaurant, comma. Mm -hmm. I go to expensive restaurants, comma. For their service and dishes, are very good. Yeah, Restaurants yeah. need to offer specialty dishes and they yeah. have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. Uh -huh. Dishes and? Dishes and. Yes. Number three. Late, comma, so. The delivery person arrived late, comma, so we got the food for free. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Any questions so far? No questions here? No, teacher, I no understand the punctuation. Perfect. Okay, now let's go for the last attendance. Ow. Ow. Adriana, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana. A present teacher. Carlos. Do I have to say today or tomorrow? Okay. You have to say today. Today. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present. 
Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present. Elmer Fabricio. Present. Jessica Lisset. Present teacher. Gemma Carolina. Present. Jessica Lisset. Present. Pedro. Present. José Alberto. Present. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Oscar. Oscar Mauricio, no, ¿verdad? Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Eh, present teacher. Ana Grisel. Present. Carolina Abigail. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Okay. Well, that's it for today. See you. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Thank you. Good evening. Take care. Good night, Good night teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. A dormir. Hello, Miss. Hello. And right now I have difficult to connect, but I will promise that I will connect tomorrow. Uh, for me, it's new this this thing on Zoom. Okay. Uh, uh, I I connect with uh, Google Meet, but right now Zoom is new for me, and the cell phone it doesn't help me to me because it's older. But uh, I will connect. Okay, from the computer is much better. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. Uh, even uh, right now I'm working. Um. I'm working right now. Oh wow. Uh huh. Yeah, but they give uh, information to be in class while. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm the guy for from this. Okay. Uh, yeah, but right now I'm I'm here, uh, like trying to uh, paying attention. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And remember, if you have any questions, Rodrigo, just ask. Okay. Eh, yo solo tengo una pregunta eh, respecto al material, ¿cómo lo veo? Perdón, tiene que hacer una, una, tiene que hacer una contraseña, su, lo que entiendo para entrar a la plataforma, así es, ¿verdad? Sí, a usted le debieron enviar un, un correo con el link, si no hay en el grupo de WhatsApp. También compartieron el, el, el material. Vamos a ver. Sí, yo creo que me lo compartieron, pero ahorita que estaba tratando, voy a tratar ahora en la noche okay. de, de, de hacerlo. Oiga. Sí, ahí les mandaron el enlace a Zoom, pero antes les habían mandado, quiero ver, el enlace para acceder a la plataforma de aprendizaje. Mm, ya, está bien. Y les han puesto también un video sobre cómo activar la cuenta, por si no la tiene activada todavía. Vaya, está bien. Voy a tratar ahora en la noche. Este, ya que ahorita tengo 5% de carga y probablemente se me apague el celular. Okay. Entonces voy a tratar de hacerlo hoy. 
Va, perfecto. Cualquier cosa me dice mañana para que veamos cómo le ayudamos para acceder a la cuenta hoy. Ah, no, es, no sé si es la misma persona con quien estoy hablando en el WhatsApp o, o es diferente. En el WhatsApp está hablando con alguien de, de administrativo. Ah, ya, ya entiendo. Veo que okay. es Clarice la que ha compartido ahí en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces, en el WhatsApp es alguien de administrativo, pero aquí en el grupo de WhatsApp, ahí puede escribir. Ahí está la gente de administrativo también que le puede apoyar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ahí está bien. Ok, perfecto. Un gusto. Que descanse. Gracias, gracias. Igualmente. Pase. Bye, Rodrigo. Bye, este, Ana Alicia. ¿verdad? Sí. Su nombre, Miss. Okay, hello. He's asking you for your name. Oh, He's my asking name. you for your name. Sí, porque aquí solo aparece inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? My name is Soyla de Portillo. Ah, uh, it's a pleasure. Right now, I'm still working until uh, 7 a.m. Okay, so you go. Wow. Uh -huh, wow. And... wow. Okay. That, that's terrible. But you will sleep during the day. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, the day, but you take some coffee. Mm. You cannot do it. Uh, I do it, but so more, so co uh, a lot of coffee is it's not good. Yeah, for your good. heart. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you have okay. high pressure? Sorry. Do you have a high pressure? I don't know if it's the uh -huh. way to say. It. Presión arterial alta. Sí. Ajá, ya. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> se le fue, se le apagó el celular. <laughs> ok, Ana, ¿qué me cuenta? Do you have any questions about today's class? Mm, eh. This is a little bit different than the topic that we were studying last course. Yeah. So we have to we have to read a little bit more. See, mm -hmm. sí. this course I have a lot of a, a a little bit more time than the last course because we ended the the certification that we that I told you. But you. Feel Okay. Yeah. So I I have a little bit more time to study, so I I am going to do it. <laughs> great. That's great. So and how great. how do you feel about your pain? Horrible. And what happened? What happened in your arm? The thing is that I had a, an accident in the bus when <gasps> the in the break. I had that movement. Then I went to a chiropractic that was recommended to me. And he pulled my arm hard. Uh -huh. it, supposedly to help me get the thing to the place, right? But he was too, it was too strong. And the third time <laughs> I was here working, a pen, my pen fell down. And when I went to pick it up, my chair went to the back and my arm finished like this. Then that was the last thing. So, oh, I'm so sorry. In the three, the three things, now I have a, a desgarri. So it's, it's oh. kind of hard. It is here and the pain comes here, but also in the back because I have two tendones <gasps> that, are, that are hard. But are you going to be better? Yeah, hopefully, yes. The thing is that the position of being like this, uh, sitting straight in front of the computer, my neck gets rigid and then that yeah. pain. That's why some I have my sofa next next to me. <laughs> and sometimes I... I, I you have to go in. And I sit down there to to relax a little bit the, the, the neck, right? Because if not, the pain is worse. And are you taking some pills for the pain? 
Yeah, but I'm tired of drinking, of taking pills because I'm taking acetaminophen con codeína and metocarbamol, but I don't want to take more acetaminophen. It's terrible for, for your the, stomach. The kidneys. For the kidneys. So I'm taking ibuprofen because the... the well, and, and for the liver too, because acetaminophen is terrible for the liver. And the thing is that if it is something that will take you know, a couple of weeks and even months, uh -huh. I can be taking pills for the pain for such a long time. Yeah. Right now, what I'm doing is that I'm using this. <laughs> That's why sometimes it's this, this here. Because when the pain is like too much, I go for the gel and I put it in the in the uh -huh. thing. And I'm drinking the collagen, uh -huh. vitamin C. And mm -hmm. I am trying to take a pain levers uh, the least possible. So I'm taking an, an, an ibuprofen only once a day. Mm, no, but it hurts. It's a, a lot of pain, and you need a little bit more than one pill a day. No, but I have to keep. Or I have to take care of my kidneys too. Yes, because mm -hmm. that's another thing, and that's why I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm drinking teas that are anti-inflammatory, like ginger. And some cream, teacher. Yeah. Um, but right now, I'm not putting any cream, just ice. And I, mm -hmm. oregano, quizás me voy a poner. <laughs> it's good oregano. Because that's anti-inflammatory. So the thing is that mm -hmm. I want to take pills the less possible because. Yeah, I understand. Because I know there are second effects. So if I can survive with the pain I can do it out mm -hmm. I can I, I'm trying because the thing is that I'm afraid of the secondary effects of the pills yes and for how long you have to be taking pills it's supposed until the pain goes <laughs> and how do you know the this guy it it's a getting it, fixed. Uh-huh. Well, I guess in a couple of months I will have to make another ultra. A couple of months. Yeah. Because the orthopeda told me if you were in the private area, they will have operated you now. But that's an operation that is about six thousand dollars. My goodness kind of expensive are you going at a seguro social seguro social mm -hmm. so the doctor will see me in january ah, mm -hmm. right? but um i know that the tendones can get regenerated with the diet with collagen because they are made of collagen right so mm -hmm. And I have to drink a lot of water. Really? Yeah, because it helps to what what is the you have to be hydrated. Mm -hmm. So they are more elastic when you are hydrated. Mm -hmm. That's why. Then and I have to be careful, and that's why I take the and the anti-inflammatory better than the than the than the other pill for the pain. Uh -huh. Because when when it gets like swallow is when it hurts. Swallow it, it means excuse me. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to eat things that are like um, there are some types of food that help you for that for not getting uh, swallow right. Uh -huh. uh, also, I'm using the eyes. I'm trying to to relax. I'm trying to, to be not too stressed. 
but we are collecting whale at school right now. <laughs> oh my God. Uh -huh. Well, the, what I do is that I come, I collect a couple of grapes, and then I go back to the sofa. I come, I collect another couple of grapes, but tomorrow we go back to school because oh. the exam's finished, right? And my. Have you read the Ministry of, uh, of Education tell? And no. Well, uh, later you can alerta, read it. Alerta Maria, right? But they say that yeah, the, every school have to watch if they are in danger, in a, they, not dangerous, but mm -hmm. in una zona de riesgo. So you are going to decide if you go or no, 15 and 16, the June, June 15 and 16. Oh, but we haven't gotten any, anything from school. They haven't said anything. Mm -hmm. Well, do you drive to go to school? No, my brother drives. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to do it either. <laughs> no. But my brother drives, he takes me to school before uh, and to come back, I will come by, by Uber. See, because of the bus, it cannot do it. See, yeah. no. No, definitely, I cannot. I'm not traveling by bus. And last week and the week before, I I got a sick leave. I was resting for fifteen days. Really? Yeah, was. that was difficult. Yeah, but uh, we finished exams yesterday, so tomorrow. No, today. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow is my first day of work. Oh, dear. <laughs> but yes. Por lo menos, how do you say in English? Por lo menos? At least. At least is your left arm, nor your right arm. Exactly. But you cannot imagine how much you use an arm until you cannot use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I use this arm a lot. I use my two hands. A lot. <laughs> but mm -hmm. not. And we never realize, as you say, when we need it. Uh -huh. Yeah, you never realize how much you need, how much you use it until you get to a situation when you cannot use it. Mm -hmm. For moving, it's very difficult because it's like, oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. But. Well, I, I wish you tomorrow will be a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> okay well thank you Anna and oh, see you tomorrow see you tomorrow teacher bye 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 if it's okay if I say get better get better yes get better teacher <laughs> thank you so much bye bye bye, -bye.